Twitch has kind of been going through an identity crisis in recent years. They started off as a gaming site and now they're just a general streaming site. But in recent years, they've been looking more and more like an adult site. Twitch has slowly been trying to turn away from the kind of inappropriate streams that have gone viral in the past few months. And they've finally taken a big new step to try and tackle the problem. Twitch is adding a rule to their TOS that would ban streams that have a quote prolonged focus on any intimate parts of a streamer's body. Now that might sound like something that should have been in the rules from the start, and yeah, I agree. It's kind of ridiculous it's gone on this long. If you're not familiar with what's going on at Twitch, it boils down pretty simply to an arms race between Twitch's rules and streamers who use Twitch as a way to indirectly advertise their more adult content on other sites. A few years back, this first really started to manifest with the hot tub meta, where women would appear on stream very scantily clad in bathing suits and other outfits to attract more male followers, who watch for the obvious reason. Considering the majority of users on Twitch which seemed to be younger men, this was unironically a good strategy. If you're gonna get a young dude to watch something for hours on end, it's either gotta be a 10 hour Halo lore video or a pretty woman. Eventually though, the hot tub meta got too much attention and Twitch relegated them to their own section of the site so they could continue to pretend to be a family friendly website. Since then, streamers have constantly found different ways around the rules. From streaming shirtless with their breasts just off screen to using black bars or blurs to cover up their intimate areas, literally like The Sims, to now just focusing an extra camera at their adult areas with some rather ingeniously using their shorts as a green screen to play games on, but most just putting the minimum effort in to just barely skirt the rules. The reason these streamers do this, for the most part, is because the vast majority of them don't really use Twitch as a major income stream, but rather as an advertising platform. If you're a good looking woman who has an adult website, you can't get better targeted advertising than to stream on Twitch. Since the majority of the users are male and the vast majority of people you're going to reach on the more adult sections of Twitch are hopefully going to be college aged men with lots of money to throw around. After all, if they can subscribe to a streamer for $5 a month and almost zero benefit, they probably have some degree of disposable income. So it's actually good business sense for them to use Twitch to indirectly route people to their more profitable adult websites. Unfortunately, it's a really bad look for Twitch, especially if they want to keep their reputation clean. No one likes the idea of children being accidentally exposed to this kind of thing, and it appears that is happening a lot on Twitch, to be honest. Now, considering Twitch doesn't seem to consider itself an adult website, and I'm certain their advertisers probably don't realize some of the stuff their ads are playing on, this was always going to end with Twitch slowly banning different sexualized types of live stream, even if their own rules enforcement seems to be unable to actually ban anyone for more than a few days, regardless of how often they show a little too much skin on a streaming site that is aimed at a fairly young demographic. Whenever it goes just far enough that they start to get worried it will upset advertisers, they start changing the rules. Twitch tweeted out the other day about the new rules, which actually go into effect today if you're watching on release. They said, Our community guidelines are designed to help make Twitch a welcoming place. Content on Twitch is always evolving and we want to make sure our rules work as intended and keep up with emerging behaviors. When needed, we make updates to our rules to capture those shifts in behavior. And so, it's clear to the community what is allowed. Starting on Friday, March 29th, content that focuses on intimate body parts for a prolonged period of time will not be allowed. We've included additional detail and definitions in our community guidelines linked below, and then a link to the more legalese version of the rule change in the actual TOS itself. So, they're banning anything that focuses on an intimate body part for a prolonged period of time. Now, I get why they're specifying that it has to be a prolonged period of time, as it's feasible that someone could drop a camera and have it land in a very unfair flattering place. And if something like that happens on accident, no one should get banned for it. But considering how terrible Twitch's rules enforcement has been, I'm not sure that giving them the ability to take this on a case-by-case -case basis is the smartest thing, considering they routinely give out ridiculously small punishments whenever the streamer in question is a woman. And I mean, case in point, there was a woman who live streamed herself having relations with another person, and Twitch unbanned her after a week. A week for literally broadcasting adult content. It's been pointed out before 
before that Twitch just has a terrible track record of actually banning people for meaningful periods of time for pretty egregious behavior. And usually it's the woman streamers that get special treatment. Not sure why. Anyway, another reason this could cause an issue is that these streamers have been one step ahead of Twitch every single time Twitch makes a change. So they'll just find something new to do. Maybe a rotating camera that spins around them and provides a good view of their assets without actually pausing to spend a prolonged period of time on them. I'm sure it'll be something like that. The funny thing is that if Twitch really wants this to stop, it would be incredibly easy for them to do it. Right now, Twitch doesn't really let you link to an adult website directly from Twitch. So these streamers push people to other places where they are then able to send them to the adult content they make usually via Linktree, Twitter, Instagram, or some other site. If Twitch wants these people to stop, all they have to do is ban streamers from promoting any link or external platform that even indirectly links to an adult video website and actually enforce that rule. As soon as these people realize they can't use Twitch as an easy advertising platform for their other stuff, they'll stop. It's really that simple. But Twitch won't do that because it's based in California and you have to be all positive about sex work out there. Willing to bet that if they were based in Utah, things would be different. But anyway, what what do you guys think? Will this have any meaningful effect or will the streamers just outsmart Twitch again? Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day and God bless you.